has been down at, not only does she do her campaigning, she's been down at Preston New Road nearly every single day, come rain, hail or shine. I don't know how she does it. Uh, there's other people down there as well, I want to thank, while we're here, people are here from the gate camp who are outside Preston New Road 24 hours a day. There's people from the camp. and Quadrilla know we have got our eyes on them. They dare not make a mistake and if they do, we'll be on top of them. So and I'm going to hand over to Tina and... Uh... So I, I was going to talk about like community development and everything, but we've done that. And it was just whispered in my ear um, that they might be looking to try and move us on. And um, when we arrived here, they started putting up blue string to prevent us being on this place that is a place of protest. And I think the one thing that the women of Lancashire and people across the country who've been fighting fracking have learned, and that's to absolutely say, no, no, you will not move me. I will not be pushed about. Do you know, until they, until they brought the injunction out against us, we would sit and be carried eight, 10, 15 times a day out of the bell mouth where we were stopping drugs. They have now stopped our ability to do that. They brought an injunction that risks people's assets and threatens us to the point where the only form of protest they see fit is for us to stand with placards. Well, that's just not good enough. It isn't what our sisters a hundred years ago fought for. They fought for us not just to have a vote, but to have a rightful place in society where we would be heard as part of a democratic process, not what it has become, which is a charade of a democracy. Once every five years, all we do is put an X in a box. That is not what we fought for. That is a mockery of what we fought for. What we fought was a voice. We wanted a voice in there. And yet we find not only are the doors closed to us for five years at a time until they want to vote, they try to prevent us even standing here or protecting our children on Preston New Road. And I just think that it's time to make time for rage. You know, we are so busy, but being outraged is something we put on the back burner or we curse at question time. But it, you know, there are not just one bunch of rampaging activists gotta come and save us. It needs to be us that saves ourselves, wherever we are. So if something is happening and you think it's wrong or dangerous for the future, which means it is a threat to your children, you are obliged. It is not a choice. It's a matter of conscience. It is a matter yes. of conscience and yes. an obligation yes. as a parent or a grandparent or an aunt or a sister. Whatever it is, we owe it to the future to not sit this one out and be too polite about it. We are trying through non-violent ways. Every Wednesday, the 58 Wednesdays, we have sang and danced and held silent vigils and done things that we thought would at least show the deeply human people we are and that we aren't rampaging anarchists although deep down inside every one of us is a rampaging anarchist and I think maybe if they try and throw us out of this square they might wake that bit up and I really think it would be ill-advised of them to do so but I would say that particularly on the live stream for the really good people at home and watch this is that please consider the situation we're in you look at the state of the world and you look at what they're doing and how they are adjusting laws for corporations and they are making laws against us speaking out against those. This is no longer a revolving door between parliament and industry. They've got a slide. You know, these people go from one side to the other. They make sure they do favors for the ones who put them in power and then they go back into those companies again. And I think it's time to fight back. And in your small ways, I find that what I've watched since we went from three groups to well over 400 groups in seven years is I've watched across the country as people do their first little action, just a first small thing. And then I always call it going off the sheer cliff into activism. We go, come in, have a cup of tea. It's lovely. <laughs> really, you just sign a petition, you'll be fine. But then once you're in, like all these spaces I can see, you're stuck and that is your life. But there is such purpose in that. And it is a purpose beyond what we always do. And I think it's really an honorable thing. And I couldn't um, praise 
the company you learn to keep more highly because my world is enriched by what you can see here. Thank you. Yay! <laughs>